Hey there everybody, Captain John here. And on today's adventure, we're doing a grad night. So uh, usually for two weeks during uh, graduations for all the high schools, uh, they do grad nights at like Disneyland, uh, Six Flags Magic Mountain. Theme parks usually will uh, close the park for a certain segment of the evening and all night long. So uh, graduating seniors from high schools can have these big parties there at the theme parks. Uh, it's the first time that uh, the parks have done it in several years though be because of the pandemic, you know, they have not been able to do it. So it's exciting to see uh, that that is back for these kids. Uh, definitely well deserved for them to celebrate their uh, graduating high school. So uh, anyways, we're doing a three bus move today to Six Flags Magic Mountain, which is down in Valencia. We're gonna be taking Patterson High School down. Uh, so it can be about a four hour, four and a half hour drive total. Uh, we'll stay at a hotel down there, uh, get our eight hour reset uh, for bus drivers uh, for my trucking community. Bus drivers really need eight hours to reset, uh, where uh, in trucking uh, you need 10 hours to do a reset. So anyway, we go down there, drop off the kids, they go play at the park, do what they want all night long, get all that energy out, uh, come back after an eight hour reset, pick them up and just bring them right back. So it's a real quick overnight trip. Uh, we don't get to go into the parks. Like I said, it's, a, it's like a private event, right? So you have to have special tickets to get in. It's not like uh, my Great America video, uh, you know, Six Flags also, they, they allow bus drivers to get in for free, but only during normal operations. Uh, not that we could really anyway because we don't have time. We have to get to the hotel, like I said, to get our eight-hour rest in to come back and pick them up. Anyway, just got done pre-tripping. I'm taking my favorite bus, number 2034 NCI. Uh, just definitely uh, my bus. I wish I could just put my uh, John, Captain John right here. That's what they need to do, Captain John. Uh, so anyways, it's about 90 degrees here in Modesto. So that's why I have the door closed. I'm trying to cool it down inside. I got the fast idle on. Gonna okay, close the door here. That air conditioning going. So like I said, I got my pre-trip done already. We're just waiting for uh, the other two buses to get done being pre tripped and then we're gonna hit the road. Uh, so I'm gonna be going down with uh, two of my coworkers going down with Myra. Myra, actually, I wanna get her on camera later because she's been with a company probably longer than I've been alive. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Myra's not that old. Uh, but she has been with the company for like 30 years or something, something ridiculous, right? Uh, and then also Patricia, I've never worked with Patricia before, but I've seen her around. Um, she's uh, an office worker, but she's also a driver. So we'll have her come on trips with us every now and then so she can uh, uh, have fun driving a trip. So we're gonna get to see Patricia today as well. Uh, so anyways, we're going to get all set up here and be on our way. So if you've seen in some of my other videos with this bus, uh, the ambient lighting here, we can actually change the colors. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Not that everybody needs to know, but I'm just gonna show you how, how we do it, how it's done. So you have your uh, digital display here. I'm gonna turn off the hazard button. So that way uh, the camera system will shut off. And once that happens, we will go to the main menu. So get to the main menu, there's these little buttons right back here like paddle shifters, right in here, right there. And on this side as well, right there. Right there, little paddle, shifter type things. Right there, there it is, right there. So anyways, we'll hit that button right there. Let's bring up our menu. We go to our settings. And we go to the top of the other hand here. We go down to the lighting. You can see that with the glare. The lighting. There you go, this is it. Those are our color options for the MCI. You got white, red, green, blue, yellow, magenta, and cayenne. So I basically just toggle through to whichever color I want. So for example, green. It's like right now, ambient lighting is white, including the stair lights. You can't see now because it's bright, but uh, there's lights on the handrails and also lights on the stairs. Uh, so they're white. They also change colors with whatever you set up there. So we'll change it to green here. So again, you can't see here because it's too bright, but I changed the lights up there to green. So what I usually like to do um, is I like to find out whatever school, especially a sports teams, I will do this, but I'll do it today as well. Uh, what I'll do is I'll, I'll go uh, to the school's website to where we're picking up uh, and I'll find out what their school team colors are and then I'll try and match that 
as close as possible to uh, ambient lighting here on the bus. Uh, sometimes they notice, sometimes they don't, but this is one thing I like to do. A little extra Captain John-ish. here to Laval Road right before the grapevine which is right there and hit that big hill here once they take their little mill break and it looks like we got here just in time because a bunch of other buses just pulled up and I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they are all going to the same place so we could try and grab some food here just real quick before we go on our road all right so subway gives us comp food for bus drivers I got some uh, tuna Myra and Patricia got sandwiches yeah. They're gonna eat bread in front of me. I can't eat bread, so I'm really jealous. <laughs> the San Jose Charter, that red bus, they just showed up over here. I'm assuming all these buses are going to uh, Six Flags with us. They could be going to Disneyland too. I'm not sure what the schedules are. Uh, but anyways, hopping back on the bus here and continue down the road. Just have some subway for lunch and put all of us over for a while. comes a school bus. We just arrived here to Six Flags. So our kids are gonna go inside and have eight hours of good time. 
by all those rides. And so all the buses will line up. There'll be hundreds of buses parked here by the time they're done in the morning. So got our two store buses there. This one, actually, we're going to take our two drivers. They're going to hop on with me. And we're going to head over to the hotel so we can get our eight hours off duty. And then we'll come back and pick up in, in the morning, like around 4.30 in the morning, something like that. So that's what we're going to do now. Head to the hotel, check in, and get some rest. Palm Desert, California. They didn't come too far. It's a nice Prevo. All right, so like I said, we're going to load up in my bus. Got Patricia and uh, Myra. So I'm going to let Myra take the camera. I'm going to teach her how to be a vlogger. She's going to learn how to get some shots. And she's going to uh, film me while I'm driving us to the hotel. It's only five minutes away. We're headed to the hotel. So you're already a good vlogger oh, already. You got it. Get out of the ring, school kids. You're good at this. Oh, yeah, right. You're gonna back out? You're gonna back out? Yeah. You want me to spot you? No. No. We do that? We do that in Carter? Oh. <laughs> Hold on, I got a backup camera. Wait, let me answer that correctly. Yes, we do, Myra. Yeah, hey, you're on camera. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Would you like to spot me? Should I honk my air horn or scare everybody? Yeah. Oh, God. God's doing his skills. They wanted to park me in there, but there's a car back there. Yeah, I see the car, and that's why I couldn't park over there. Oh, okay. But I told him, well, I'm leaving anyway, so there's Disco bus. This is just their uh, their school colors. <laughs> Look at all the school buses coming in. That would suck. You know, Wouldn't I was it? telling this group, you know, they they should be lucky that they're actually able to do this because uh, the last one, two years, there was no nope. Brad night. The seniors had nothing. Yeah. So they should be very thankful they have this this year. This is one of the best groups of kids I've taken. They are, yeah, yeah. I was telling yeah, them, I was telling my shop friend leaders, yeah, you guys got a good group here. Oh, I'm sorry I passed you those two times, Patricia. Oh, no, no, but no. My, my kids were egging me out. They were like, let's race them. I was like, all right. So I, I would pass you, right? And they'd like, oh, cheer, yeah. But I knew I had to be in line with you, so I had to no, no, back no, no. off. And they're like, oh. Remember, I told you, I'm like, hey, we missed Myra. Go ahead and go in front of me. <laughs> yeah, it, we're really Damn, that bus of mine just climbed right up. No, that this one it's like 35. Uh huh. Exactly what you said. Yeah, I 35. figured it. <laughs> we used to do it in the older buses for 25. Oh really? And the W series buses. Yeah, I know 35 on that one. Is. And the, my one bus is. did 45 all the way. Yeah. Place with this. Another left just for you. You can go in behind him, can't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll push him a little bit if I don't fit. <laughs> There's John's parking skills. We're going to parallel park. Ooh, yeah. I hope these guys are leaving at the same time. We, well, I guess it won't matter. We'll get out. All right, there's Six Flags Veteran Mountain right over there. And this is where we parked here at the Hilton Garden Inn in Valencia. And as you can see, we have a few other bus companies. Here's that uh, Cardiff Transportation from Palm Desert that we saw over at the park. There's Best Tours from Fresno. It's an older MCI. Look at that, it's like one of our uh, limo buses, San Diego Charter. Good, we were able to find some parking. Not a whole lot of parking in this lot. There's a few spots on the other side. Uh, who's that? Lux Coach? I'm not sure who that is, but that bus found a spot right over there. So, anyways, uh, I'm gonna go inside this hotel and check in and do a quick. <laughs> I gotta, gotta sleep quick because uh, gotta be back in just about eight hours to pick up our group. 
If you'd like, you can go to uh, my other channel called Hotel Reviews. I started a new channel there showcasing in uh, detail with a little bit of a review on all the hotels where I stay since I stay at so many. So I'll put a link down below if you guys want to go check that out. You can see a more detailed view of this hotel at the uh, Six Flags Valencia uh, Garden Inn. So go check that out. We'll, I'll show you a quick little tour right now. Looks like San Jose Charter found a spot right over there. That's our hotel. All right, so we got all checked in here. This is the hotel where we're staying for the night. Like I said, basically eight hours to sleep and counting has been counting for a while. More like seven and a half now, seven hours total. Uh, so quick rest, you know, I'm really good with six hours. So for me, it's not a big deal. The Disneyland trips are even more tight on scheduling because that's about another hour and a half drive from here, coming from up north, uh, Northern California. Uh, depending on traffic, it could be like another hour, hour and a half from this location. So that really cuts into time. But at Disneyland, they usually get more time at the park too. It's not uh, as tight as the Six Flags schedule. So it's about the same other than just driving out extra time, especially if you're leaving Anaheim where Disneyland is and you have to go, for example, to Sacramento, which is like another hour past Modesto where our yard is in the general area where we would pick up a high school for a grad night. Uh, those ones are definitely a long day and you really need to try and get that rest. Um, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get some rest, wake up early. I gotta wake up by like 3.30 in the morning, be down to the bus to pre to it by four in the morning, head back to the park and pick up our group. So. Good night, we'll see you in the morning. And good morning. It was a quick one. <laughs> quick sleep. So we're gonna head down to the bus, get a pre-trips. Like I said, it's only like five minutes back over to the theme park. So, uh, you know, eight hours off, five minutes back over there. They're most likely gonna be waiting for us. Uh, in most cases, we have to wait for them for quite some time, but I think in, in today's situation, they're going to be waiting for us when we get over there. Because I think the park closes at 4, and it's 3.55. But we can't clock in until 4 to get over there. So we'll see what happens. Uh, no rush, you know. But, uh, yeah, we just don't want them to wait too long for us. All right, let's go. All right, well, the good thing about having three bus drivers on one bus is we can get a pre-trip done in about... 15 seconds <laughs> just kidding a little longer than that but we'll get done really quick versus only one person doing it and they were waiting for us most of them we're, we're slowly getting here Good job.
dropped off here in a very windy Patterson. Look how close I got to that tree, my goodness. All these trees are really tight in here. So anyways, that's it. Now we're gonna head back to the yard, put fuel, go off duty, go home and probably take a really good nap. See here, we're the last in line. Bus one, bus two, we're bus three. Got to put fuel, got to wait. We only have one pump. Um, I remember doing like um, several bus moves, like 10, 15 buses doing a huge move, and we'd have to come back to be this huge line waiting to come in to put fuel. <laughs> I haven't done that in several years, but I have seen it done before. Uh, if you're in the back of the line, well, you just have to go do your paperwork and get your bus ready to. You know do your post trip and then fuel when you get up there so do how we do it so anyways that's gonna do it for this episode guys i really appreciate you for watching uh congratulations again to patterson high school seniors 2022 uh you guys uh definitely deserve that trip i hope you had some uh i hope you made some great memories had some good fun i know i had fun bringing you and uh, i'm glad i was able to be a part of that journey with you guys um so yeah Again, for everyone else, thanks for being here. I really appreciate it, and we will see you down the road.